Okay. Now, in these comments, we will present the the main or the fundamental theorem in the abstract measure theory, which is which concerns the Lebesgue measurable subsets and the extension, the big extension of a sigma additive measure. So we start with the couple S and M, where S is a semi ring and sigma M, M is a sigma additive measure and the definition goes like this a subset of my universal set X it is called measurable and sometimes uh, you may emphasize explicitly that's the measurable with respect to this particular couple S M uh, if and only if and listen to the definition now for every positive epsilon, there is an element, a dash, from the minimal enveloping ring, such that the external measure of this symmetric difference, a triangle a dash, is less than epsilon. If for every epsilon you can produce such an a dash, this set a is called measurable, measurable with respect to couple SM, or sometimes people say Lebe, Lebe measurable, with respect to this couple? Yeah, that's that's our definition. Now the theorem, the main fundamental theorem in the, in the measure integration theory, it says that if you know that your universal set comes from the minimal enveloping ring, and if the F symbol, or sometimes people write to emphasize the dependence on SM couple, F of SM, is the collection of all Lebe measurable subsets. If you have these two constructs, if you have this construct, in fact, and this property, this requirement, then two conclusions are true. This collection F, two conclusions are true. This collection F is a sigma algebra, and the external measure on this collection will be a sigma additive measure. Yes. We're going to see the proof of this result. It is rather lengthy proof which consists of a few parts and I'll split this, I'll try to make these parts very explicit and I'll try to make uh, clear where exactly this condition and this sigma additivity condition is used. And there will be a few places in the proof. So we first look at the, so this is my proof, and the first Part of the proof which I will present is the claim that this collection F is algebra. Uh, this, this claim consists from the statement that if I have a couple of elements from F, so a couple of elements which are measurable according to this definition, then that's something which we have to show. Then The union of these two elements and the set difference of these two elements is also measurable according to this definition. Alright, so if I have two elements like that, here's my proof. I'll fix an epsilon, positive epsilon. According to the definition, I have two elements A' dash and B' dash from the minimal enveloping ring with the property that the set difference of A and A' dash less than epsilon and similar true for the couple B and B' dash. That's the definition of the Lebesgue measurability. Now, in order to see that the union is measurable, I will take the union of my A' dash and B' dash set, which we know in the minimal enveloping ring, because it's a ring, it's closed on the union, and I will make the following observation. In fact, I will show you this uh, relation between subsets. This relation, in fact, we proved in full details in one of the earlier comments. It's here, I think it was the earlier comment uh, which is titled uh, Operation on Sets, number two. Uh, if I use this relation between these subsets, and if I use the fact that the external measure was the semi-additive measure, so it has the property of semi-additivity, this will give me that the external measure of the left-hand side less or equal than the sum of individual external measures of these two set differences. 
each of them individually less than epsilon, so the whole thing is less than two epsilons. And that finishes the proof that the union is measurable subset because like look for every for epsilon, I presented explicitly the choice for the element in my minimal enveloping ring such that the set difference of the set I'm testing for measurability and the set I presented from the minimal enveloping ring external measure is less than 2 epsilon uh, if you look at this proof closely you will realize that the whole job is done by this set relation so if I want to address the problem of showing that the set difference of A and B in the among the measurable subsets, again I have to produce a sort of a set relation which will do the job for me and that will be the set relation I'm referring to. Uh, the symmetric difference between A uh, difference B and A dash difference B is controlled or is a subset of the same right hand side. Uh, I'll show you the argument show, uh, which justifies this embedding. So we start with the element in the left hand side, which means that my element either here and not here, or vice versa, it is not in this set but in this set. So the first possibility when my element is in here is like this. So my element is in a difference like this, and at the same time it is not in a difference like this. I will study this possibility first. Uh, if I expand this statement further, that will tell me that x must be from A and x must not be from B. If I extend this statement, it is a little bit more involved, so I put here end for this end. For this statement, if you expand it, there will be two possibilities in this expansion. Either x is not in the A dash or x is in A dash and in B dash. This combined expansion for the this statement and this bracket means or, or either this or this. And now we can see why the element which originally came from the left hand side with this extra and this uh, yeah, from the left hand side will be in the right hand side because look at this, if you combine this, this and this together, in particular x and a but not an a dash so it is in here and that's why it is in the right hand side. If you combine this, this this and this, then these two alone, x in doesn't belong to b but does belong to b dash, put s into this bracket. That's why complete, uh, if x comes from the left hand side and such that it is from this bracket but not from this bracket, it will end up in this union. Similarly, you can study the alternative possibility here when x comes from this bracket but not from this bracket. This one I'm not going to put here on this slide, I'll leave it for you to think about, but this is detailed, complete argument behind this embedding. And now, if I choose this element from minimal enveloping ring, then for the set difference of A and B, I just presented an element of the minimal enveloping ring such that the symmetric difference, like this, is controlled. I'm not going to put this in writing, but you can use basically you can use the same inequality like this. The external measure of the left hand side, and now left hand side refers to this, is controlled by the individual external measures of this right hand side, which is two epsilon. That's why the set difference is Lebe measurable, and that finishes the part of the proof which shows that this collection F is in fact, well actually it hasn't finished it yet, I just realized it, it finishes the half of it, part of it, which says that this collection is a ring. To conclude that this collection is an algebra, we have to make sure that the universal set belongs to this f. But that's just, again, it's, it can be done according to definition, because I can look at this, that the External measure of the x set difference with itself is obviously just external measure of the empty set, which is zero. It's a nice simple exercise showing that external measure of the empty set is zero. And because x is itself come, comes from the minimal enveloping semi-ring, so for the set x, I presented an element from the 
minimal envelope in CMR ring such that the symmetric difference is less than epsilon. In fact, it's just zero, so it's less than any epsilon. I mean, the choice of this A, I mean, in general, the choice of this A dash, it may depend on epsilon. For different epsilon, we will different choice of A dash, but for the set X, the choice is unique, uniform for all positive epsilon. So just choose X itself due to this extra assumption we have. And now we finish the finish proving part that the collection F is algebra.